the former immediate past president of the Philippine Medical Association, Dr. Benito Atienza. Uh, right may, may mga press release po kami dito. Kunin na lang ito. I just need it here to do it here. About this interview. Yes. Now, let me introduce to you our head of the, our director, of course, from uh, Premier Philippines, Mali Yates, the legal department, former bar secretary of President Digong, secretary uh, John Castillo, my, 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 my best friend. Uh, okay. So anyway, uh, first and foremost, this activity actually, it's a uh, broad coalition of different organizations, but of course this is spearheaded by uh, Clean Air Philippine Movement Incorporated. Now, uh, as mentioned a while ago during the uh, press, uh, the reading of the press statement, official press statement, we are going to initiate a legal action against the uh, biggest polluters of the world. Uh, we are referring to the industrialized countries, particularly the United States, probably China and India. This is not a government initiated action. This will be actually a private suit that will be initiated, a class suit initiated by uh, ordinary people, ordinary persons, particularly Filipinos, have uh, been affected by natural calamities brought about by the uh, ill effects of the carbon emission. Now, uh, there is a link that would have to establish that most of the natural calamities that are happening right now were actually caused by the so-called high carbon emission of these industrialized countries. As mentioned a while back, the Philippines is only emitting around 0.03% of the carbon. But basically, under international conventions, we are allowed up to 1%. But we are not actually consuming that uh, so-called uh, uh, space when it comes to carbon footprints. Now, um, what will happen is that we will be documenting the victims of all these uh, natural calamities. For example, uh, the one that had happened in Leyte, in Yolanda, no? yeah. there are thousands and thousands of people. We are not, we, we cannot really uh, make the real count as to how many people were affected. Some are saying it's 5,000, some are 10, 20, etc. Yeah. But the fact is, uh, there are thousands of people who were affected and definitely a lot of people died. And of course, we have to hold somebody accountable for that. And I think it, all, the, all the fingers would point to these uh, polluters, these so-called big uh, industrialized countries, which are actually emitting a lot of these uh, carbon emissions. Now, this will be a, a difficult task, uh, considering that uh, we will have to document all the victims not nationwide, not only the Yolanda, but even the Mundoy. And I think everybody has been affected with the Ondoy when it comes to the national capital region. So uh, this will be, we will be uh, uh, soliciting the help of a lot of people, a lot of organizations, and hand in hand, uh, we will try to uh, jointly uh, put all our resources together so that we will be able to come up with a litigation that would uh, enhance uh, the so-called uh, cooperation among all the people. Now, uh, you might say that, oh, why would the, the industrialist countries listen to you? You know, this is a long shot, we must admit. But the fact that we will initiate something is good enough. It might snowball into the support of other countries as well. If other countries will come to learn that we are initiating an action, they will extend their support and then definitely a lot of countries will come to our aid and will file this claim against these industrialist countries. And I hope that we will be successful. As I said, this is not something political. It is a concern that affects all people. Uh, and that's the reason why we are actually appealing to all the Filipino people to please extend your support to this undertaking because this will be good for humanity. It is for the survival of the whole world. And uh, we are initiating this because today is the Araw ni Andres Bonifacio. Sabi nga ni Doc Mike kanina, kung sumigaw si Andres Bonifacio ng revolusyon dito sa may uh, Balintawa, kami naman, revolusyon tungkol sa environment dito naman sa Scout Coronel. Yeah. Maraming salamat. <laughs>